Over the years, the Ballon d'Or has been won by so many legends who have given us some of the most memorable moments in football. However, it has happened a couple of times where the award had us questioned its credibility with some very odd choices. Today, we are going to look at some of the most shocking and surprising Ballon d'Or wins of all time. Do you remember the guy who won the Ballon d'Or ahead of Ronaldo? Stop lying, I know you don't. Before 1995, the Ballon d'Or could only be won by Europeans. That's why the likes of Maradona and Pelé never won them. George Weah was the first non-European to win the award after the rules were changed. But we can't help but think there was still a little bit of bias. Ronaldo, who was at Barcelona at the time, was a rising star, who many believed to be better. But Sama's team, Borussia Dortmund won the Champions League that year against Juventus, which gave Sama a boost in the campaign as some voters thought he deserved to be awarded. The German beat Ronaldo by only one point. That's just how close it was. Pavel Nedved in 2003 was an absolute beast. Also, we just made an entire video on him, so go check it out. The Czech won the Scudetto that year with Juventus and took the Italian club to the final of the Champions League, a final he would miss due to a suspension. However, despite having the best season of his career, Nedved was not considered as the best player in the world by many at that time. He won the award over Thierry Henry and Paolo Maldini, who many considered to be far superior players, and overall, many think he did not leave a mark on an entire generation of football fans the way Henry and Maldini did. Besides, Maldini actually won the Champions League against his team, while Thierry Henry scored a total of 30 goals in the Premier League that year. But respect to Nedved who is not unworthy of the award in any way and should be proud of his achievements. Michael Owen could probably be considered the most controversial Ballon d'Or winner of all time for the simple fact that he was a kid that won the award over the legend that was Raul Gonzalez. Unfortunately for the Real Madrid legend, the failure to reach the Champions League final that year did not help his case, despite winning two Champions Leagues with Madrid in the previous three years. Owen, however, had an amazing season, winning the UEFA Cup and European Super Cup with Liverpool, making him the top choice to win the prize at 21. That still did not stop football fans from protesting the choice as everyone was convinced Raul Gonzalez's chance had arrived. I think we can all agree on this one. Fabio Cannavaro won the 2006 Ballon d'Or ahead of Zinedine Zidane, and anyone who knows their football history know exactly why Zidane didn't win. Finish him. Fatality. Yes, before that moment, the Ballon d'Or was pretty much in the pocket for Zidane. But after countless insults from Italy's Marco Materazzi and the pressure the final had on him, Zidane lost it and attacked Materazzi by headbutting him on the chest. You should have gone for the mouth, Zidane. He deserved it. France football decided not to reward Zidane after this, but even then, football fans felt there was a couple of more deserving players who could have won it. Those include Gianluigi Buffon, who was already a huge football legend even back then, or Thierry Henry, who reached both the Champions League and the World Cup final. I mean, what more did Henry need to do to be acknowledged? Well, I guess it's not appropriate to reward losers, uh, unless you are Nedved or... Look, there's no doubt Messi is the best player in the world and one of the best players in football history. He's the GOAT! The GOAT! But there's no denying that him winning the Ballon d'Or in 2010 was a shock. Not just for us, but for him as well. He said so himself. 
Messi was booted out of the World Cup in the first round with Argentina that year after scoring a total of, wait for it, zero goal. Messi won over Xavi and Iniesta who carried both Barcelona and the national team and won the freaking World Cup with Spain. And Messi wasn't even the third best player that year since Wesley Schneider won the treble that year with Inter and reached the final of the World Cup with Netherlands. It's like FIFA gave Messi the Ballon d'Or to cheer him up after a not so great season. Speaking of not so great seasons. Again, there's no doubt CR7 is one of the best players in football history, but this was the year where the definition of a Ballon d'Or winner stopped making sense altogether. Cristiano Ronaldo scored a total of 69 goals during 2012-2013 season, but barely won anything with Real Madrid, as he fell both in the Champions League and the league, only winning the Spanish Super Cup. Frank Ribéry and Ian Robben, on the other hand, won 5 of the 6 competitions they played that year including the league and the Champions League, and were considered one of the deadliest duo in the world of football. Yet, neither of them won the award that year. Ribéry will even state later that he is no longer interested in the award, as it is more of a political award that's got nothing to do with football. Harsh words. But really, is he wrong though? Thank you guys as always for watching, tell us what you think of this. These kind of videos will be uploaded every week during the weekend so subscribe not to miss anything. And we are currently working on the throwback episode 5 and many other cool stuff for you. Until then, take care, bye.